This study investigates how to achieve the well below 2 degrees Celsius, preferably 1.5 degrees Celsius target set by the Paris Agreement. To do so, the Times Integrated Assessment Model, TIAM, was used, which is a global energy system model. Aggregate cost potential curves were implemented into TIAM, as well as demand technologies for the end-use sectors. Hydrogen and synfuel trade routes were also established using liquid hydrogen transport, LH2. Four different scenarios were considered, each with different characteristics of climate and security of supply policies. The results showed that renewable energy sources would have to expand significantly in order to meet the 1.5 degrees Celsius target. Final energy consumption would shift toward direct electricity usage, while certain demand technologies, aviation and international shipping, would require hydrogen and synfuels for full decarbonization. Different security of supply policies resulted in different regional allocations of hydrogen and synfuel production and exports. In the case of climate policy, Middle East Asia was the preferred region for hydrogen export, while multiple regions were competitive for synfuel production. In the case of security of supply policies. This article was authored by Felix Lipka, David Franzman, Thushara Adanki, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.